to show you how to make a wreath sign using the farmhouse calendars from Dollar Tree. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. Alrighty y'all, let us get started. So first off, you're going to need one of these square signs from the Dollar Tree. Just any of the square signs that they have. And you're also going to need one of the elusive farmer's market calendars, also from Dollar Tree. Now listen, I do have something to say about these calendars here in a second. So I know a lot of you just want to skip through the video and then you want to get to the end and you miss a lot of stuff that's in the middle. But please, please just give me a minute and listen to what I have to say about these. And might I point out right here is the copyright information. It is copyrighted by Jennifer Pugh, courtesy of the Sagebrush Fine Art Company. So now, instead of sanding this and trying to get rid of all this glitter, I'm just going to flip it over and use the back. And then, if I want to, I'll go back and I will just cover the back with a piece of scrapbooking paper. I'm not going to sit here and try to sand off all this glitter, okay? And if you try to pull this off, sometimes it comes off nicely, sometimes it doesn't. And I see the styrofoam head is in the way. Hi! I'm working on another styrofoam head. But anyway... This is the picture that I'm going to be using. Actually, it's the um, it's the cover of the calendar. <coughs> Excuse me. So here is some Mod Podge. Doesn't matter if it is gloss, matte, whatever. We're just going to be using it to stick the image down to this sign. So I'm going to get some of this and go ahead and put on a thin layer. But anyway, um, a lot of these Dollar Tree crafting groups on Facebook... Someone had scanned the images out of this calendar and I put it into a Google file and thousands of people were downloading it. That is such a big no-no. I have seen Facebook groups get shut down for silly stuff like that. And a lot of people are saying, well, it came from the Dollar Tree. It's fair use. It's fair use. If it has a copyright symbol on it, it is not fair use. <laughs> you know, and I know it's just a lack of education on that subject, um, but it was not okay. It was not okay. And I was actually in a private messenger chat with the artist, and she was very upset that people had done that with her artwork. Just buy the calendar, okay? It's a dollar. Buy the calendar, if you can find it. <laughs> or have somebody to buy it for you and send it to you. But anyway, she had contacted some of these groups saying, you know, that's my artwork and it's copyrighted. You can't do that. They kicked her out of the group. I was also removed from a few groups for pointing out copyright violation and called the B word and you know, but yeah, like I said, I know a good bit about law and that type of thing. And yes, they were in the wrong. So just don't do that. It is not cool. It's not fair, you know, just for a dollar calendar, stop breaking copyright law. Um, and she loves the crafts that people are making. She loves that. What she does not love is when people, you know, are scanning her artwork and then posting it for everyone to access. That is that is not cool at all. All right, so now that my Mod Podge is here, I'm just going to take my image and just place it down and just start working it down with my fingers. I'm trying to start with this corner and then working my way across. Now, when you're doing this, to avoid wrinkles, if you want to, you can use like a, a debit card, you know, a piece of plastic, something, you know, just to smooth the image down. Now, the actual pictures and the calendar, you know, they're printed on kind of thin paper, and this is a cover, so it's a little bit thicker. So don't rub it too hard. You're just going to spread it down with your hands, just like this. But yeah, so many people were getting mad at me, calling me the dreaded Karen. You know, quit being such a Karen. I said, I'm not being a Karen. I'm trying to save you some grief so that you don't get your Facebook group shut down. But you know what? <laughs> Go ahead. Get your group shut down. I don't care. And like I said, the artist did find out about it. So, you know, don't think that you're being sneaky and nobody's going to know. So I think this is spread down pretty evenly i just have a little piece of cardboard here i see one little wrinkle down here and i'm just going to try to press that out all right there we go so now i'm just kind of going over it with a piece of cardboard you know just trying to smooth it out 
because if you rub it too hard with your fingers sometimes it'll kind of like peel up and um and you'll ruin your picture so you know what i suggest doing is you know you can get another calendar from the dollar tree because i think they're pretty much all printed on kind of the same type of paper just getting a sign and a calendar that you really don't care about and just practice a little bit so that you can see how it's going to work for you because as hard as these suckers are to find <laughs> i would hate for you to ruin yours so anyway i'm going to let this mod podge dry and then i think what i'm going to do is with some of the dollar tree nautical rope i may just put a little bit around the edge you know just to give it a little something something so i shall return Okay, so this is pretty much dry and there's no wrinkles or bubbles, so I'm ecstatic about that. <laughs> um, now, I thought that I had some more of the Dollar Tree nautical rope, which I do not. Darn it. But anyway, I have some of this and I got, I can't remember exactly where I got this, but you know what? You can get this at, um, I was trying to read here to see, but um, you can get this pretty much at any craft store. Even Walmart carries this stuff. But what I'm going to do is now I just want to put a little bit around the edge, you know, just to give it a little something, something, something. So I'm turning this upside down. I want to start up here where this is. So I am just going to put a little bit of hot glue. And a lot of people ask me where I got my glue gun with this little fine nozzle. Well, I got this off of Amazon. And if you will look in the description box, I have a link to my amazon shop where you can find all kinds of awesome stuff so be sure and check that out i also have links to my affiliate account with dollar tree online cricket the reed shop <laughs> a bunch of stuff so yep go check that out i know a lot of people still don't know that you can order things from dollar tree online but you can yeah, I'm just trying to barely, barely just dab this hot glue on here. And you know, I thought about should I make the video where I make the sign and then show uh, the wreath that I'm making? I don't know. You know, I really didn't want to because y'all know I try to keep my videos kind of short. <laughs> so um, I think I'm just showing how to make the sign in this video. And then in another video, I'll show how I'm going to use it on my wreath but anyway y'all probably saw the light flickering we're having a heck of a storm i'm sick of these darn thunderstorms i'm sick of it mother nature are you listening <laughs> the kids don't listen why would mother nature listen so anyway what i'm going to do is i'm just going to glue this all the way around and then we have this little hole up here to contend with so um i don't know what i want to do with that um i may take some of this and just make a little bow and put there i don't know yet but anyway let me work on it and i'll think about it okay, so i've got this rope cording whatever you want to call it all the way around the sign and then i took a piece and i just tied an itty bitty little bow and i'm going to put a blob of glue right there and then i'm just going to stick it right there where that little hole was that was in the in the paper and there we go it doesn't cover up any of the lettering and it just gives it a little something you know to uh to cover that up but anyway there we go there is your wreath sign ready to be put on a wreath so i'm going to end the video here and in a future video very near future i might post it today or tomorrow i will make a wreath using this sign so anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you would, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.